With 15 different places to explore, Marinette County bills itself as the Waterfalls Capital of Wisconsin. This one right here that you're looking at is called Veterans Falls. It's near Crivets. Officials say even though there's no snow for now, it's still a good time to check everything out. Fox 11's Eric Peterson has more. We're at Veterans Falls, um, which is an awesome park. It has a very nice path to come down, easy walk onto this gorgeous viewing platform where you can see the waterfalls. Um, there's a bridge that crosses over them, so easy viewing, great place to go, take a little hike. Um, there's also three sections of falls here, so there's the one under the bridge, another one you see down from the viewing platform, and another one down the river a little ways that you can walk to. Marinette County Tourism Program Assistant Autumn Timblin says water levels on this stretch of the Thunder River are a little low, but she says crisp conditions Thursday morning make viewing the falls something unique each time. Depending on the water level, the way the water flows takes a different pathway, you know, or if there's ice there, how it forms over the ice and goes. So always a different experience no matter what time of year you're out here. Veterans Falls is one of 15 sites in Marinette County. Timblin says this one is very popular. She says taking in these falls is a chance to recharge reminisce and reflect. Waterfalls can be so serene and peaceful. Um, so whether you're visiting with the family or you want to take, you know, just a quiet day on your own to come and draw or just sit peacefully with the sounds of it, it can really be an amazing experience. In Marinette County, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. Tourism officials say the waterfalls are open to the public. They say campgrounds around Marinette County typically open on May 1st. Yeah, so I mean, without the snow, the water level is lower, but the waterfalls are still rushing, still great viewing. Um, as we move kind of from winter, obviously, without the snow into that spring season, this is an awesome time to always come and view the waterfalls. Um, they're really roaring at this time, and as I said, it's still just absolutely beautiful right now. We didn't have much snow. We've been kind of talking about the weather. I mean, everybody's been talking about the weather. How has that impacted what you've seen uh, the last couple of months up here? Just as far as, like... I mean, how's it been? Has it been slow? Or has it been hard to get through? Or has it been, you know, kind of describe what we've had the last couple of months? Sure. Yeah, so obviously without the snow and our snowmobile trails not really having the traction and ice fishing not being what it typically is, it's been a much slower season up here. Um, but we're looking forward as we move into the spring and are getting towards this beautiful weather that we can get people out to see the waterfalls into our businesses, um, you know, some dining opportunities and shopping opportunities and um, get things going into summer here. Talk about this place. What does this place have to offer? We have a nice... Uh it's very you know, gradual, it's not a, a huge hike to get down here, and there's a, an observation deck. So what, what does Veterans Falls have to offer? Yeah, so we're at Veterans Falls. Um, which is an awesome park. Um, we're in Crivet, so about an hour drive from Green Bay. It has a very nice path to come down, easy walk onto this gorgeous viewing platform where you can see the waterfalls. Um, there's a bridge that crosses over them, so easy viewing, great place to go, take a little hike. Um, there's also three sections of falls here, so there's the one under the bridge, another one you see down from the viewing platform, and another one down the river a little ways that you can walk to. How has the water level been? We kind of talked a little bit, or, or what have you noticed as far as uh, the levels go for that? Yeah, so the water level is definitely lower than we see in typical years, just due to precipitation rates right now. Um, but that's mostly noticeable around the edges, just as far as what like the basin of the water is at. But the waterfalls, like I said, are still absolutely gorgeous. The water's still rushing over them, so still a great time to come out and check them out. And then it's got to be a surprise each time you come because things change, you know, it's not the same old waterfalls even though it's the same old waterfalls, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> they're always different, you know, depending on the water level, the way the water flows takes a different pathway, you know, or if there's ice there, how it forms over the ice and goes, so always a different experience no matter what time of year you're out here. And then this is the Thunder River, is that what this is? Yes. Where does... Does it come from somewhere, and where does it end up? Do you have any ideas? Or? 
to be uh, to be honest, I don't entirely know that. It might say on here. Any other um, things about the falls? I mean, are people do they know that you guys are open year round, or are we still promoting that? Or yeah, remember those times where you'd say, "Oh, we're officially closed, but you can still come out here." I mean, what's the, what's <laughs> so, the open that's close? always goofy, what's but the open yeah. Situation? So all of the parks are open. You can come and see the waterfalls. Um, it's sorry, I lost my train of thought there. <laughs> are they open twenty four or three sixty five now, or are you promoting? Not all of them. Okay. It's a very confusing. There's like winter waterfalls, but you can really go into any ones you want as long as you're okay. careful. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. So officially, I mean, is it still like if? it dries up here is better closed or is it open? It's, I don't know. <laughs> it's open. <laughs> so, All right. so. Do you get people on the weekends up here? Yes, absolutely. So we've had people calling asking if the falls are ready to view. So absolutely the parks are open. Come on in, take a look at them and check out all we have to offer here in Marinette County. And we always like to talk about how is it, is it fun to just sit back and, and, and take a quiet couple moments when you're here? Yeah. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. You know, waterfalls can be so serene and peaceful. Um, so whether you're visiting with the family or you want to take, you know, just a quiet day on your own to come and draw or just sit peacefully with the sounds of it, it's, it can really be an amazing experience. And then... Are we still at 15 waterfalls? Is that the yes. how many you got? And you're still the, what are you, the, the world capital? So, what you the <laughs> Sure. We're the waterfall capital of Wisconsin. So we have 15 waterfalls throughout the area of Marinette County. So always a great weekend trip to come and see. And you can always take a day trip too and come and hit a few of them. Okay. All right. Now, is this your favorite or how does this one rank on that? On that? <laughs> Sure, I think Veterans is uh, a great one. I think a lot of people consider it one of their favorites. The bridge over the top is always a cool feature. It's really fun to look down at and just get that different perspective on it. Okay. Any fish down there? Or I heard there's some trout. Yeah. Okay. So it's actually, a lot of our waterfalls are on Class A trout streams. So if you're a trout fisherman, it's always a great time to hop in and cast a line in the pools. I mean, wild, walleye season is coming, but that's kind of separate from the waterfalls. Is that, but uh, yeah, because I was trying to watch the pike nets down by us. Yeah. <laughs> an indicator, and they said nothing yet. I mean, have you had anything yet? Uh, we've looked at the stream, so I mean, we typically see it come in early April ish. Yeah. Uh, right now, like there's a fish viewing platform in Peshago. Right. Um, we've seen a couple of walleye down there, so definitely ebbing towards the walleye run, but we're not there yet. Yeah. So, um, Next week. yeah, <laughs> and we have our new 2024 visitor guide out, so oh, we can I'm always do it. Yeah, so the new 2024 visitor's guide is out. You can pick it up um, anywhere around Marinette County, restaurants, lodging places. Um, there's some visitor centers as well as at our county parks. So it's a great resource to figure out, you know, what to see, what to do, and all of our waterfalls are featured right in the center of it.